they immediately run away from you. Oh, you're excommunicated. If uh, Elder Ricard was here, he'd be able to, because he was uh, into that shit too. So he'd be able to break it down for us. In the hospital, man. What's that? Uh, hey, somebody give me uh, 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 Isaiah 28 and 10. No, start at 11. And read down. Isaiah 28 and 11. For with stammering lips and with another tongue will he speak to this people. And that's what we're doing. Because our language is Hebrew. We're not speaking to you in Hebrew. We're speaking to you in another language. Go ahead. It says, to whom he said, this is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest. Yeah, because like you said, you were looking for the truth. That's why you went to Jehovah Witness, you went to this religion, you went to the Moors, and then you and then you ran into the Israelites, the true Israelites, all right? Yeah. And then and then you said, Well, this is it. Yeah. My search is over. Yeah. I've been looking for something, I've been looking for the light, I found the light through these men here. Read that again, please. Go on. It says, To whom he said, This is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. This is the rest right here. All right, and this is the refreshing. This is the thing that's supposed to revive you. Okay? And it said, yet will they not hear. So you saw that black woman, you're wasting your time trying to talk, your, talk to a black woman, man. Like back when I was young, I didn't know no better. Anytime I met a woman, I would give them a Hebrew name. I don't give them no Hebrew name no more, man. If a woman give me, if her name is Jill, you know, my name is Jack, you know? <laughs> all, I want, all I want is what's in between her legs, man. If she want to eat pork chop sandwiches, go right ahead. Just don't kiss me, you know? What's your mouth with that pork? All right, go ahead. I'll go ahead. Verse 13. But the word of the Lord was unto them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. In other words, the ones that come up against this, they're going to be broken and snared and taken. Let me give you some names. Uh... Uh, uh, General General Grievous, yeah. all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he got some of the ponies up there, his minions up there. Please. But at one time, he used to send his ponies down here, like they're looking man. to get a car. They way up there. They're gonna come all the way down here to park their car. You know, parking up there—that's bullshit, man. Yeah. He sent them down here to spy spy on us, man. Okay. Then he had the radio show where he let. As soon as he started the show. There was calling, right? From minute one, you can just call in. He talking shit, let you call. Them brothers all around the country, man, and around the world were calling his ass so much, cornering his ass, that he put up the white flag. He said, I give up, man. Yeah, let's come to a truce. Hey, brother, the scripture said give him no rest, man. That's talking about the white men, white men, and false clowns like that. You know? And he ain't a defender of the gospel, man. Because he would kept, kept up the fight, man. Right. You know? That's right. He didn't keep up the fight. No. Somebody yeah, speak. Yeah, he's just he's just in it for the money, man. You know? Yeah, uh, You know what scripture, uh, Micah 3 and 11? You can bring that out to the brothers. He's just in it for the dope. And he was at, when I joined the school, uh, back in, uh, what is it, 1990, I, I, I was first joined his camp. And he was full of shit back then, 1990. So I, I, I know, we know this guy. He acts like we like, like he's foreign to us. We know this dude, man. And that's why we got on him. That's why we got on him like that, because I already, because I know the dude, man. Yeah. I know the dude fell off, man. The dude went back into the world yep. and grew some goddamn dreadlocks, man. He was just a nigga in the world. Now all of a sudden, he, he woke up. You know, like them robots, yep. they, uh, they, they press a button in the eyes. Yeah, they wait. That's him, man. Yeah. That's him. Same thing with Yashawan, man. Yashawan stole all that money from them brothers in the school. 
and he built up a damn house in Georgia somewhere from the ground up, man. Now all of a sudden he's back on YouTube talking about we don't know what the hell we're talking about. Oh, really? But it took you 15 years to realize that? Yeah. You know what happened? The money ran out. Yeah. And he had a little show with this nigga we call Country, who used to follow us with his 20 years of Islam. <laughs> talking about, I got knowledge, I got 20 years of Islam. Well, you got 20 years of fucking nonsense, man. And you're still dark, man. And you're still dark. 20 years of darkness. You know? Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, on. This is a uh, Micah. You want me to start at nine? Or? Yeah, you know, judges. <laughs> Micah three and nine. Hear this, I pray you, ye heads of the house of Jacob and princes of the house of Israel, that abhor judgment and pervert all equity. They build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire. You know what that means? Teach for hire. Teach for money. Yes. Some of those uh, phonies, they, they're hired by uh, the uh, Illuminati government. They're set up. They hired them, man. You know? Like General Grievous, you better believe he's paid off, man. Just let one go at Some group that he represents. You know? Uh, comfy. You know? So read that part again. Gun. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire. Yeah, teach for money. So the Bible got that recorded. And those are the examples. Go ahead. <laughs> and if they teach for money, then money is their main devotion or main motivation. They're going to feed you anything. That's yeah. right. Which means they're going to feed you lies. lies. They're not going to feed yeah. you the truth. Yeah. Our, our motivation is not money. Nah. You know, our motivation is to give you the truth. So your blood don't be on our hands. That's right. Because that judgment is coming through, man. Yeah, it's not and this may be the very year for that yeah, judgment. It's, it's about to get real hot. It's about to get real hot out here, real funky. Yeah, it's like Go ahead, brother. And the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? And then after all that, they still say that the Lord is with them. In other words, yeah. they, they act like they got the truth. Yeah, they you know? believe That's it, the scripture. Huh? Is there any more? Okay. None evil can come upon us. Yeah, but the, the Lord is going to bring evil upon them. Right. And it's going to come swiftly, you know. Go ahead, brother. Okay. Verse 12. Therefore shall Zion, for your sake, be plowed as a field, and Jerusalem shall become heaps, and the mountain of the house as the high places of the forest. Yeah, in other words, the most High is going to bring judgment, man. And a lot of these phony-ass uh, niggas that claim the Israelites, yeah. but are teaching lies, the Lord is going to do away with them, man. You know? Yeah, bring it up. Bro. This is Ezekiel 34 and 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Mm. And that's why we talk about him. That's why we talk uh, 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 nasty about him. And our main motivation, too, is to uh, tell the brothers about him so they know. You brothers, beware. This is a wolf in sheep clothing. Beware this wolf. He's not one of the sheep. Go ahead, brother. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, power unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that, Woe means destruction. Go ahead. that do feed themselves. That do feed themselves. Meaning what? They're all about themselves. They're all about getting paid, living lavishly. You know? Hey, even when we were in the main school, we saw that with this guy, Yeshia. He wasn't about the truth, man. Yeshia. You know, he was getting, uh, even then he was getting, uh, he had three infinities. Now this is back in the 90s, and infinity cost a lot of money back then. This guy had three of them. He had a white one, a black one, and a red one. One of them, it said a high priest on it, the license plate. Custom, you know, a license plate. This guy was all about the money, man. And he wouldn't really teach the truth. When you go to his classes, all you would get is jokes. All he would tell is jokes. I mean, he was real funny. He was a funny guy. But you don't come in this knowledge to be, to be entertained, you come in right. to learn. That's right. You know? Go ahead. Bro. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? So Yeshua, he wasn't feeding the flock. That's why you don't see him anymore. Yashwan and uh, General Grievous. Go ahead, bro. You eat the fat and you clothe you with the wool. You kill them that are fed, but you feed not the flock. Mm. Yeah, we're supposed to feed the flock. Pursuant to Jeremiah 3 and 15, we're supposed to feed the flock. <laughs> 
With what? With knowledge, with wisdom and understanding. Which is what we've given you, brothers. Go ahead. The disease have you not strengthened, neither have you healed that which was sick. Yep. Neither have you bound up that which was broken, neither have you brought again that which was driven away. Neither have you sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have you ruled them. Yeah, and a lot of those guys like uh, Yeshaya, they were like tyrants in the, back in the main school. Wahab, another example, he was another tyrant. You know? Go ahead. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. My sheep. Oh, that's, you got to read that again. Man. Mm. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field. Stop right there. You're going to have to read that one more time. Now, going back to the main split at One West. And I was there. I was there before those demons came in. I was there after them demons left. So I was actually there. All right? At the main school at One West, you had uh, 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 your Asha, which we call him your asshole, which he's back in the world. We don't know where the hell he is. You had Rahab. Then you had Nate. Then you had some other guy. You had Taza Joe. Remember that Hamite? Oh, yeah. That fucking Hamite? Um, play, playing like he was an Israelite. Those guys were going up, go to Moe's ear to kind of get Mo to leave the school. And Mo looked at them brothers as really being sincere men. But they didn't tell me nothing because they knew I would have brought up big council so everybody could know what's going on. But I knew any damn way. But anyway, what happened was when they left, they had this plan. They didn't start tell the masses of, of the children or the, or, the, or the students that were coming during the week. They just damn left. So that's what they did. They had they had the flock scattered, man, oh, yeah. to the wolves. Yeah. Because they, had they stayed there and dealt with the whole thing, then Comfy wouldn't come. No, Comfy wasn't gonna come into power. Me, me in the school. No hell no. He wasn't gonna come into power, man. You know. Went out the window. He, he was gonna go out the window through the spirit of Yahweh by shooting out a shot. You know, with power, man. That's right. Oh yeah, yeah. So when those guys left, there was an opening for the Illuminati, Illuminated ones to go up in there and yep. throw money at him, man. And Yeshia thought he was going to be the guy to get the money. Yeshia did some stupid shit. He probably asked, he probably offered him 50 million. Yeah. He said, I don't want 150 million. Yeah, that's him. Okay, that's just a down payment. Yeah, that's him. Because if I'm going to sell my soul, you're going to have to pay me. So he said, man, get, 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 forget that nigga. He's out, man. So uh, there was one point where Yeshaya and uh, Gazak, they, they got kicked out, so to speak, or they left, whatever the hell they did. And then somehow, right, they left because of the bullshit. The real, real reason why they left, because we were speaking down the street, we had guys that was coming from the school, the main school, telling this shit on the side. We knew what was going on, all right? But, uh, so what happened was they worked on this guy Comfy, man. Because at one point, Comfy wasn't going around saying that he was a godsend comfort, comforter. Oh, no. I believe it was 2003, if I'm not mistaken, when he pretty much came out with it and said that he's a godsend com comforter. When he got to us, man, he said, man, this dude, this dude is out of his fucking mind, man. He's out of his goddamn mind. Now, the reason why that happened, going back to Nate, your asshole, your asshole, the most high is going to destroy that piggy. All right, that fucking... Butterball turkey. You're gonna destroy him, man. And Rahab, that fucking Slim Jim. Yeah, yeah. All right? Most I gonna, the most I gonna zap his ass. And if that, and if that black Bugs Bunny looking nigga Nate, if he don't, if he don't get his act together, the most I gonna slap the shit out of him too. You shy, you might as well forget about it. There's no open door, nigga. Just go back in the damn rat hole where you belong, man. You should just go to the Apollo and tell jokes. Well, he so probably ain't even funny, man. Yeah, yeah, he probably And Lahab, you old fucking mummy, you should just drop dead already, man. We saw you, what, 10 years ago, and you looked like you were a bag of black bones, man. Damn. <laughs> so I can imagine what you look like now. Damn. <laughs> hey, brother, hey, we saw this was 10, over 10 years ago, man. The dude looked all old and frail and shit. <laughs> hey, guys, how you doing? 
Hey guys, how you doing? What do you got there?